Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Daggett, this is Daggett Designs. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I put up a poll a couple of weeks ago asking you guys what kind of content you'd like to see on the channel. I wanna make sure I can add more content and more value to the channel for you guys. Now, this doesn't mean I'll be replacing my current tutorial format uh, content, like teaching you guys how to draw specific things or giving you guys tips and tricks on how to build up elements of designs. It just means I wanna put more content out there for you guys and be able to give you guys a more full range of content on the channel. So with that having been said, today we're doing a paint along video. We're gonna go straight to the overhead and get started. All right, I'd like to welcome you all back to the table. So I've done this little peony design. It's a Japanese style peony design and I've left the link to the line work down in the description. You can download that from my Google Drive. And I'll be doing that for all of these paint along style videos. So they'll all be in a folder. You can download the line work, trace it onto a paper of your choosing, whether that's watercolor paper, or if you're working with markers and you want to transfer it to marker paper, just trace that across to your paper of choice. And we're going to go ahead and start painting it. So for this particular painting, I'm only using three of my colors. These are Liquitex acrylic inks. I'm using a sap green permanent and I'll be using that mostly for doing the leaves. I'll put a little bit of sap green in my palette here. I'm also using a yellow orange and we're gonna use that for the stamens in the center of the flower. And I'm also gonna put a drop or two in my sap green just to lighten it up a little bit. And I'm also gonna be using a vivid red orange and I'll be using that for the main parts of my peony. Okay, aside from the palette and my inks, I've also got a glass of water. This is for washing my brushes out. And I've got a couple of synthetic nylon or Taclon brushes, I should say. Uh, one of them is a size six, and I think one of them is a size four or five. I can't quite remember, but they're the two brushes I'll be using. So the basic idea of these videos is for you guys to be able to put this on in the background while you paint while you practice your drawing skills. And you know, I'll, I'll chat a little bit with you guys while I go through this process, maybe talk about a few things. And it, you know, if you guys want me to answer some questions or you know, explain anything, you can of course leave comments in the comment section down below, or you can contact me over on Facebook at Daggett Designs. I'm also on Instagram at Daggett Designs. So there's a few different places you can contact me if you do have questions regarding my art or anything else and I can explain those during these paint along videos as well. So at this time I'm just going through adding green to my leaves and I like to leave a, a flesh gap or a skin gap around the entire perimeter of the outer part of the leaf when I'm doing peonies. And I like to do a skin gap just on the rightmost edge of the other half of the leaf when I'm doing these leaves. So I'm just going through and doing that now. You can of course use different types of greens as well. And that's something else I wanted to mention, you know, don't feel like you have to use the Liquitex acrylic inks to follow along. You can go ahead and trace this line work onto any medium you like. And heck, you don't even have to trace my line work. You can of course go ahead and draw your own peony. I just wanted to give you guys the line work in case you wanted to follow my video along and paint along with me. But feel free to draw your own. And of course, color it in which, whatever way you'd like, you know, whatever colors you want to use. And of course, whatever medium you want to use, whatever you're comfortable with and whatever you're most used to. I like using the Liquitex acrylic inks. I think most of you know that I use them in all of my videos and I use them for all of my professional work also. I just think they look really nice. They're pretty easy to work with and they're really vibrant. I've had a lot of people tell me that after watching my videos, they've gone ahead and purchased the uh, Liquitex acrylic inks and they've had some you know, really nice success with them. So I definitely recommend them and hope that you guys give them a go. So 
Now, like I said, you could do this using any medium. Of course, you can go in with colored pencils. You could go in with markers if you're a marker artist, you like using Copic markers or any other alcohol-based markers. There are so many different mediums to do this with. Uh, you know, if you're using colored pencils, you can get some really nice blends and gradients. You know, all the different mediums are gonna have their own sort of advantages and disadvantages. I personally prefer hand painting stuff in the way that we're doing it today. Uh, you could do this digitally as well if you, you know, didn't have any supplies or you maybe you work primarily on your iPad, you like to work primarily in a digital manner. You can go ahead and download the file, trace the artwork into Procreate, or in which case you won't really need to trace it because it is a, I'll upload a JPEG version and I'll also upload a PNG so that you can put it into Procreate. And this way you'll be able to use it as a template and you can color it in on your iPad in a digital fashion as well. You know, I've been receiving a lot of messages over on Instagram. People have been tagging me in their artwork and that's been really awesome. It's been cool to see so many of you following my tutorials. It's been really gratifying and it's, it's really cool to see how you guys are coming along with your artwork and I've seen a lot of improvement with people that have you know been messaging me for quite a while now uh, since you know since the beginning of my channel and it's really cool to see the improvements that you guys are making and you're just getting better with your art all the time it's really really cool to see in uh, that having been said you can of course message me on Instagram or you know better yet upload your paint along peony here onto your Instagram and tag my page it's at Daggett Designs and I'd love to see what you guys create, what kind of colors you do, and you know, what mediums, what different mediums you can use to, to create your peony. I get a lot of questions regarding, um, you know, like different styles and different subject matter and stuff like that for tutorials of course you can leave comments in this comment section down below you can always message me and if you have any specific requests for videos that you'd like to see do let me know i'm trying my best to get around to everyone's requests uh, there's going to be certain things that i don't particularly like drawing or that i don't particularly feel comfortable teaching uh, even if i do draw them so of course you know those tutorials might have to wait a little bit longer they're things that I will have to develop a way of teaching them. I tend to sort of create methods to teach you guys how to draw certain things. You know, there's certain things I draw really well off the top of my head, but I don't necessarily know how I would explain my process. So for a lot of, uh, a lot of the tutorials that I do, I spend a bit of time working out almost like a lesson plan, you know, so that I can really put together a good method for you guys to follow. I think that having a good method is really important, you know, so that you can have your foundations, your structural foundations of your artwork and follow them along to be able to get accurate and good looking shapes. And so I, I try to create methods that I think will work well in teaching you guys. But of course, at the end of the day, I you know can't teach everything that I do in a 20 minute video. But I would like for you guys to leave your requests in the comments down below so that I do, you know, have a, have a good selection of tutorials to give you guys that I know you're going to enjoy. You know, the content on my channel is for you guys, so I kind of want you guys to dictate what kind of material you'd like to see. I've also had a few of you getting a bit personal with me, sharing your stories with me and you know what you'd like to do with your art, what your goals are, your passions. And I really appreciate that. I like sort of having a one-on-one -on -one connection with a lot of you guys. It's been really great to get to know some of you. And I wanted to extend an invitation for you guys to ask me questions. You know, if you have any questions regarding my personal uh, art story or just anything really, you know, you can always leave those questions in the comments or send me a message and maybe I'll include those in a future video.
Uh, in the poll that I put up, I put an option in there for like storytelling. So the idea behind that would be similar to this. It's like I'll do a painting and while I paint, instead of just rambling on about nothing, I, you know, I could tell you guys some stories, um, you know, from my art history and where I came from, where I come up from, and just let me know what you guys want to know about. So I've just finished doing the leaves in our green color. I'm going to go ahead now and jump into doing the peony, the main peony color, the petal color. I like to do the outside and the inside of my petals slightly uh, variation in color. So in this case, I'm going to do like a solid red orange on the outside and I'll probably lighten up the inside with a bit of blending. So in terms of doing my solid orange, I'm just coming in and leaving a really little white gap along the border of the petals. And I'm doing just the fold over sections at the moment and leaving that little white border around my folds. I really like this uh, orange red hue. When you lighten it with water, it turns to almost a light peach tone, like a pinky sort of peach tone. And obviously depending on what you're using it for, but I think it looks really nice for doing peonies. It's currently my favorite color for doing peonies. If you follow me over on Instagram, you would have seen a few peonies that I've done. And a lot of them I will use this particular color for. I think it's really nice. So another little interesting bit of content that I had planned uh, for future videos was to go ahead and talk about art supplies, you know, talk about what I think, uh, you know, good art supplies for doing this sort of work are for painting tattoo flash or just painting illustration work in general. Obviously, I'm a fan of the Liquitex inks, but there are a lot of other mediums and I've worked with quite a few of them. So, you know, if you have any mediums you want me to talk about, anything you, you were thinking about getting into or wanting to, you know, experiment with, you can of course let me know and maybe we'll talk about those in a future video as well i was also going to do a video um, about digital art you know a lot of people have asked me what i think about it do i think it has its place do i think it's cheating you know do i do i think digital art is uh, you know cheating you're not really painting and doing it traditionally and i'm not going to answer that right now because i think that could make for a really interesting video as well you know what do i think about digital art do I think it has its place in the tattoo you know, industry? Obviously, a lot of people are using it. A lot of tattoo artists use the iPad Pro these days for doing their illustration work and for putting together designs. And I think that's fantastic. But you know, there are upsides and downsides to everything. So I do have, I do have a little bit to say about it. If you guys want to know my thoughts, again, just let me know. On another interesting topic, um, I wanted to know what you guys like in terms of art, tattoo art, non-tattoo art, just any art in general. 
what kind of art do you guys like to see? You know, leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of art you're into. It's always interesting to gain perspective on what other people are into. It's, um, you know, sometimes I feel like I trap myself because the only type of art that I really uh, look into very much is tattoo flesh and tattoo inspired stuff. Uh, I can appreciate a lot of different styles of art. I've done my fair share of, you know, realism style painting and drawing. And I think the tattoo stuff appeals to me so much just because it's so bold. It has such, you know, bold and beautifully bright color work to it. Hence why I do a lot of color work. I don't tend to do a lot of black and gray stuff. I really like bold colors, nice vibrant designs and patterns. And that's, I think, what draws me to, you know, tattoo themed work. But I'd love to know what kind of art you, inspires you guys. You know, what kind of art you guys enjoy. What sort of art you'd like to see on my channel. Of course, I can vary the content a little bit. If you guys want to see something that completely unrelated, I can sort of have a look at those requests and see where we go from there. Like I said, I've done many different styles of art, not just tattoo related stuff. Especially, you know, it's, it's, I haven't just done Japanese and like American traditional style stuff. I've done a little bit of Neotrad, a bit of new school stuff. And like I said, I've done some black and gray realism style stuff as well. So it depends what kind of content you guys would like to see. I've had a few people ask me to teach them to do like portraits, near traditional style portraits or realistic style portraits. Portraits are one of those things, like I don't particularly enjoy doing portraits myself. Um, they're not necessarily, well realistic portraits, I don't think are necessarily too difficult. It's just that they're very time consuming and I don't really like working with pencils and you know, those sort of mediums to get those super realistic blends. I sort of prefer working, like I said, with bright colors and inks and things like that. But it's also that uh, I don't really feel like it's something that I can teach well. I just don't think it fits into sort of what I do. I might get around to doing like a Neotrad portrait tutorial or maybe even just old school like uh, gypsy head sort of thing. We can go into doing sort of that, some, some of that sort of stuff, sorry. But uh, yeah, realistic portraits, not necessarily my thing. I could probably give you guys a couple of tips if you are working on your sort of realistic skills, realism skills, you know, portrait work. Feel free to message me for some tips. But uh, yeah, I don't know that I'll be doing a video on those specific things anytime soon. So I'm just rinsing my brush off a little bit. Um, gonna go in and do the inside of the petals now. So like I said, I'm going to, I might switch over to a larger brush size because I'll be using a bit of water for these areas. We've done all of the fold overs and outside of the petals in more of a flat tone with no blending. So I'm going to do a little bit of blending on these inner parts, just coming in with our pink. I'll rinse my brush off a little bit and I just want to blend that out towards the edges. What kind of music do you guys like to listen to? I tend to, uh, I tend to use like some more relaxed sort of tone, you know, tunes in my music. Try and get people to relax while they watch my videos and chill out. You know, painting and drawing is something I find really relaxing. I kind of want to extend that vibe to you guys when I'm painting and drawing and teaching you guys something. So I try and use music that's you know chilled out, relaxed, and sort of has that vibe. But I tend to not really listen to that sort of stuff very much. 
I mostly listen to, I guess, heavy metal, heavy death metal stuff. I like punk music, old school punk stuff. I like a bit of pop punk as well. Love Green Day. I love Blink-182, that sort of stuff. And yeah, I mean, I listen to sort of a variety of music, but I'd be interested to know what kind of music you guys listen to as well, because I find music's another art form that's so varied and has so much uh, sort of, it's so subjective, you know, everyone listens to different music for different reasons. And I don't know how far I got through without my camera cutting out just then. I hope it didn't cut out too much of the footage, but yeah, like I said, uh, I wanted to sort of know what kind of music you guys listen to. Maybe I can use a different style of music for these paint along videos if there's something you guys would rather hear. But for now, I'm just sort of using some chilled out beats and tunes. I pretty much use the same music in a lot of my videos just to try and keep it consistent. And so that, yeah, there's some consistency across the board. People know that they're my videos and that's what they're tuning into. Gives you a sense of familiarity. Now, obviously this is the uh, first video in this sort of paint along series that I'm doing. So I'd love to know your thoughts. If you guys enjoy this style of video, if you enjoy just sitting down, relaxing and sort of painting, along with me. I've, uh, I've enjoyed making this so far. It's pretty cruisy. I enjoy painting and I'm a bit of a chatterbox. So I like to talk about just anything. I just like talking. I've been called annoying a lot of times by family members and friends. So I just talk too much. I like to uh, give to the gab, I guess. But that kind of works well in my favor for YouTube and, you know, creating content. I like to talk. So I'm just finishing up on the inside of our flower now. And I just wanna go ahead and color in the inside of our flower. I'm just switching back over to my smaller brush. And I'm gonna go into my green just a touch and dab a bit of yellow onto it to do that little star shaped, little star shaped thing in the middle of the stamens like that. So I dipped from green to yellow just to give it a more lime colored hue. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my orange yellow there. And I'm just gonna come in around it. No blending or shading to do these stamens. And I'm just painting straight over the top of them to give them that nice sort of bold, bold look. From here, I like to mark my work using a seal. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark my work using that now. And just depending on the work that I'm doing, sometimes I'll sign, sign my artwork manually and sometimes I'll use a seal, just depends on the artwork specifically. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. It doesn't necessarily apply that well to textured watercolor paper. There's sort of too much tooth to it, too much grit, but I still kind of like the way that it looks. I think it still comes out really nice and that was it for this one so there's no outro for this i just thought i'd let you guys know i do plan to continue this series of paint along videos i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you hit the subscribe button if you already haven't and make sure to hit the no notification bell so that you never miss videos when they come out and that having been said i'll see you guys in the next video peace out bye